Um, as a child, I feel like I was trained to care about the other members of my family. Care about, sorry? To, to care for or care about their emotions and the way that they are. Yep, yep. Can I, can I say, you weren't tra trained to care, you were trained to make their emotions go away, which is a di and there's a big difference between those two states. See, see there's no harm in caring. This was the question. There's a huge harm like in caretaking and making their emotions go away. Yeah, so my question was about feeling that training, which you've just clarified. Yeah. Um, um, that's led me to realise I live under a lot of obligation. I feel obligated to people around me. Can I suggest it's actually the opposite of that again, Jet? You okay. feel the obligation and then you feel a feeling inside of you of wanting to resist it. And so you actually live in oh, rebellion. That's, that's the rebellion. Yes. Oh, the penny drops. Does that make sense? So for most of us, when, when we have been forced into caretaking in our childhood, we are now in rebellion because we don't want to feel the grief of how overwhelmed we felt with this role that we had to take on. And so what we do is we go into a rebellion. And then whenever we have the option to become more loving in our day-to-day -day life, we automatically feel a rebellion. We automatically feel, I don't want to do that. It's just caretaking for somebody again. Instead yeah, of feeling, I no, do. Yes. we, we could that, actually give them the gift of our the love. Question. Exactly. That's what led to the question because um, I aspire to be a lot better than what I am. I suppose that's a silly thing to say, but because yeah. uh, everybody does. Yeah. Uh, um, I don't agree that everybody does, but go on. <laughs> oh, goodness. Because <laughs> there are people on the earth who aspire to be worse than they currently are. That's how they become worse. And so um, I find... With interactions with people, I, f I freeze up. Yep. And there's a whole part of me, big part of me now, that feels the caring towards them, listening and all of that. But there's still this other part of me that shuts me down and I go into rebellion and I've never understood it until just right now. Oh, so thank good. you again. That's a pleasure. So for many of us, this is why we avoid positive actions because many times we have yet to grieve the negative that occurred in our life. And when you don't grieve the negative that occurred in your life, you then feel angry about having to take a positive action in a situation. But in that case, isn't the best thing, what we're learning today, is yeah. to take the, take the positive action, because that's really the true way we're going to trigger that grief. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Taking the positive action is always going to help us. So the real question was... Maybe you've just answered it, actually. Was how, how, what's the positive step then? Um, because I find this law of attraction still... Well, it, this, in your example that you gave, the positive step would be, OK, I know that I'm resisting hearing the person and there's only two possible reasons. One is that they are projecting at me that I have to hiss, listen to them and I'm just sitting there listening to them because I feel like I have to, so that's one. And the second one is that I um, feel a feeling that I want to listen to them. And so I'm sitting there because I want to listen to them. I'm giving them a gift of my hearing, if you like, and giving them a gift of me being involved. Now, now, if it's the second, you wouldn't have any negative emotions. Now, the interesting thing here is that this is what happens to me in the sleep state. I don't have any negative feelings uh, from listening to spirits in the sleep state who come and tell me stories. But in interactions with people in face to face, to face I'm still having this opposition of jumping yep. back. Now, you, now what you're doing is a bit unloving, Jen. Because now what you're asking me to do is to give you personal assistance on a personal issue... Oh, I'm sorry. Right, ...that involves now a hundred other people's time. Can you see the difference? So the original question, I'm happy to answer. You need to, we need to stop with that, with that question. Because yeah, now, now we're engaging a process that's only going to benefit you. Do, do you see? Yeah. And I want to benefit everyone in this discussion. Yeah.